Okay, hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to QBT. Uh, we are continuing our resistance thing, stuff, thing, um, with this equation, okay? Looks weird, it's not, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, but we're gonna talk about it. This is the equation that we use to understand what the resistance in a series circuit is, okay? Now, I know that we haven't done any videos on series and parallel circuits, but they're coming after this. I just, I wanted to do resistance in series and parallel before we move on so we can look at summative questions. But for now, all we need to know is that the total resistance in a series circuit is equal to the sum of all of the individual resistance components, right? So it's not just three, if there's five components and they all have two ohms of resistance, then the cumulative resistance would be 10 ohms, right? Um, but yeah, why don't I show you a tutorial video and uh, hopefully that will help you understand how we use this equation practically. Check it out. Okay, so let's discuss how we might actually use this information to calculate what resistance is in, in a series circuit. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a very basic diagram of a series circuit, like this. Okay, and let's say we've got one resistor here, and we've got another one here, and we've got another one here. Excuse my uh, <laughs> my drawing. Uh, and let's say that the resistance in uh, R1 is 6 ohms, the resistance in R2 is 8 ohms, and then the resistance in R3, let's say that is equal to, I don't know, uh, let's say it's also six ohms, okay? Well, then we just take our values, right? We take our resistance values and we put them into our equation, which is RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so forth. So we get, 6 plus 8 plus 6, right? Which gives us a total of 20 ohms, okay? And that is how we can calculate the resistance, the total resistance in a series circuit, okay? And if you wanted to find a particular value, let's say you wanted to find R1, you would just subtract the sum of R2 and R3 from the total, okay? So that's how we do that. Okay, so I hope that helped you understand how we use this equation to calculate the resistance in a series circuit. Um, practice it, rearrange it, learn how to use it really, really well. And then after we've explained a bit more about series and parallel circuits, we'll talk about questions that unify all of our knowledge together, okay? But until then, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow and get more information to you guys. Um, but yeah, until then, stay quantum, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.